What is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and today the reopening of the Vox Cinema here in Ski Dubai. This is the Snow Cinema Experience and it's really cold but it's not a problem as the people here actually treat you with kindness or they actually give you proper gear in order for you to survive or to be comfortable in the snow experience. So aside from being here to re-experience the reopening of the snow cinema we're also here to take a look and actually use the asus vivo watch that we have here so we're actually using this for a couple of days now and it's really growing on me to be honest but let's talk about it later as we are gonna be experiencing the movie first we're gonna be watching kong versus godzilla and see you in a while done with the snow cinema experience it was actually really nice and it was really cold but we got changed we got went outside after the movie and it was a really nice experience if I were you I would try this one but back to the review of the Asus Vivo watch we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Asus Vivo watch BP this is from Asus I really wanted to check out this product from Asus but as a disclaimer they've actually sent this vivo watch to us but please note that that will not change my opinion and my rating on this watch or that won't stop me from actually saying my real opinion about this watch and my real opinion is that it should have a processor sorry so we're gonna be unboxing it vivo watch bp so this watch has two variations one is the s which is intended for outdoor use i guess because it has other functionalities and can be used for hiking and this one is the bp model which is for the blood pressure or for as it is opted as a healthy health watch Okay, intelligent sensors, Asus Health Connect up and built-in GPS. Okay, so it's like this. To open it. So we have the manual, the user manual, which is very thick for a watch. And instantly we have the watch itself. Let's set that aside. Underneath the watch we have some other papers i'm guessing this very long paper is a warranty information card which is very long okay now this makes sense a usb oh, no it's not a usb c it's the mini so we have the charger cable and we have the dock for the watch so yeah so let's look at the watch itself. So Vivo watch. To be honest, uh, as a first impression, it's really light for its size. Even the Samsung smartwatch that I'm using is heavier than this one. The watch is really quite elegant if you ask me. So the shape is a little bit is a rectangular shape but as you can see they've they are still using the old strap method and this is how it looks okay it's actually nice for the size but i have as you can see i have small tiny small na tiny pa as you can see i have small hands and yeah it fits nice it's, it's very light and yeah so as you can see on the side since my wrist is really small the rectangular shape or the height of the watch is actually more than my wrist so comparing it with my previous watch or the watch that i'm currently personally using which is the samsung watch this is the first version as you can see the size it's actually bigger but i like the strap of the samsung more 
because it doesn't have this metallic strap in that the problem with this one is sometimes when the rubber becomes brittle this metal part right here breaks off as I have experienced with my previous watches but I'm not sure with this one how tough this rubber material is that they have used for this watch and the strap mechanism for it's actually implemented like so so you don't need an extra two uh, two mounters or whatever you call these although this is not this is not a heavy metal it's I can feel that it's really tough it's really tough in the hands so it's like lightweight metal as for the build quality this is an IP67 water and dust resistant watch although I would have preferred that this would be a full-on submersible watch so that we can use it when we are swimming the contacts for the charger are actually on this side so that means that you cannot submerge this on salt water or on or on swimming pools or or on full-on submersion as it is just only on ip67 so as for the watch phase this is actually a touch screen display that has a 2.5 by 2.5 inch monitor so it's full on touch screen and you can adjust the brightness of the screen next the entire face of the watch or the front of the watch is at around four centimeters so 2.5 for the screen and the rest is occupied by the electrode and the ppg sensor that senses your heart rate and your heart data on the right of the watch is the home button that you can use to quickly go to home or quickly navigate to home and the strap is made from medical grade silicon so it's actually very light and is very sturdy although when i first opened it i thought that it was a non-quality strap to be honest but when i researched more about the this strap that they used on this one there was there is a reason why they are using this strap as it is medical grade and is and it is perfect for this application at the back of the watch you can also see that the electrode and the ppg sensor extends at the back and that's about it for the build quality as for its lightness it's very light the other smartwatch that i actually have which is the samsung is actually a little bit heavier than this one but it's a little bit compact compared to this one that has a bigger face but as you can see it's not that big it's just exactly it just exactly covers my wrist now let's go with the navigation so this on this watch there are several faces and you can navigate by swiping left or right up and down as for the initial screen which is the home screen that tells the time the date and the battery status and if you are connected on the bluetooth it has several watch faces that you can select from so it depends which watch setting or watch face you want so from what i have right now this is the one that i really like it's like a minimalist digital display and if you swipe on to the right you can see that you have your steps so it records your daily steps and if you swipe again you have the sleep face and then messages so Aside from being a smartwatch or as, so aside from being a Vivo watch, it actually inherits some features of the smartwatch, which is having notifications. So this one has a notification for messages, calls, and also for the weather in your current location. Other than the messages, after that is the exercise. So for the exercise, you can have a stopwatch if you swipe down. And if you swipe down again, you can see that your distance like kilometer per hour your pacing your heart rate and your maximum heart rate are also recorded in case you want this phase or in case you want this data when you are having your workout session for the next menu setting it's about the setting or the time settings and for the next one it's the alarm clock another one is the heart rate so in real time this actually monitors your heart rate but you have to give it some time when you go to the heart rate monitor to see or to check how is your heart rate or how many is your heart rate initially it will not record your heart rate but when you 
put on put on the face or the interface of the heart rate it will show for like about 10 to 20 seconds minimum 10 seconds it will show your heart rate and the last phase is the measurement or the bp measurement but we'll come back to this function later on we'll just first discuss how the navigation is so navigation with this watch is very simple and the ui is very intuitive as you can see this is one thing that i really liked about the the watch now let's discuss about some of the features of this watch one is that this has a watch app so before you use the watch before you do any blood pressure monitoring you need to calibrate it so upon starting on the watch or starting up the watch you will be asked with some details about yourself about as a wearer of the watch it will ask you about your gender your birth date if you want the watch to be left worn on the left or worn on the right or if you want to have a profile so this will complete your profile and aside from that aside from setting up your profile on the watch you also need to connect it to the app as the app will actually calibrate this watch based on your current bp so before when i first used this i just measured my bp it was quite high okay but when i did a separate measurement like for example i have a digital bp monitoring tool here i did my measurement here and then i calibrated it on the app what happened that is that it's actually positive five B, uh, five uh, five numbers for example if i have a 105 over 70 or 60 bp it will on this watch it will be 100 over 60 okay so i'll put on the values on the screen so that you can check but once i calibrated this watch through the app it was actually uh, monitoring my bp quite accurately based on the monitoring device that i have in here so that is one thing that is actually really good about this watch is that you can monitor your blood pressure on the fly so if you want your bp like monitored for around three times a day you can actually use this accessory or this tool in order to do that instead of carrying one of these but based on my test there's really not much of a difference between this it's like positive negative five another feature that i really like is that it automatically locks so if you accidentally press the touch screen or the display it doesn't move unless you press the home button which is actually a really nice feature that 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 wasn't there in my other smartwatch but this one has that so kudos to asus for implementing that feature and as a verdict for this watch aside from that it's very light it inherits some of the smartwatches features such as notifications this can also be used not with the app but also as a standalone watch so if you don't want to use it with the app which is i recommend that you do because of the calibration this can also be used so the verdict for this watch so i would have wished they have done the charging through wireless instead of having these contacts so that we can implement a fully water resistant watch but i'm not really sure how will they be implementing that as this has an electrode and ppg watch so that's just one thing that i noticed with the watch overall as per the functionality as for the build quality and as for the navigation which is really important because people of my age can easily navigate this watch but people of the previous generations for example if our your father or if for example my father will not really be that uh, tech oriented if you might say or they they will sometimes have a hard time navigating through these things so if you just tell them to like press or swipe left or right in order to test their bp then that is a great bonus or is a great uh, add-on or function of this watch in my opinion it's also really light and if you look at it it's not bad it's really just a sleek minimalistic watch that serves a single purpose or in my in my case one specific purpose which is to check the blood pressure and it does that accurately like the bp monitor that i have so that is it for this video i hope you like our video for this weekend and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and 
See you on the next video.